How you doing, Taurus? So this will be your who's coming towards you love reading. So, Taurus, for your overall energy, we got destiny, handsome, children reverse, and then we got toxic. So I feel like it's definitely meant for this person to come back in your life, Taurus. Some of y'all could live at a distance with this person, I mean, between this person. Maybe they live out of town um, or they could live across town. But I am seeing some form of a travel. But um, I just felt like it's meant for you and this person to come back together, Taurus. Some of y'all, this person could be handing you something because we got handsome and then we got children. Maybe you have children with this person. Maybe you have partial custody of this um of your children or they have partial custody or whatever. But I am seeing that this is somebody who is very good looking and they could be giving you your kids back. Or some of y'all, this is somebody that may have took your kids away from you. Maybe they was granted full custody of your children and you could be having to do visitations when it comes to you seeing your children. Um, some of you guys don't have children with this person, but I am getting different messages when it comes to these cards. Maybe you could just be dealing with somebody who is very good looking that you don't have children with. Um, or some of you guys, maybe you do have your children with this person, but your person may have left you. You see what I'm saying? They may have left you um, with your children alone to take care to take care of the household by yourself. That's what some of you guys, these are just different scenarios, but I feel like some of you guys could be in a somewhat toxic relationship because we do got toxic or the situation with this person was very toxic. Um, another message that I'm getting is that maybe there's one of you guys as toxic and then the other person is not toxic. But for the most part, I just felt like it's somewhat toxic when you're dealing with this person every time y'all get together. Um, and it could have something to do with your children. Maybe you guys just argue about the, ch the children all the time. But um, yeah, this is the three messages that I got when it comes to um, the person that's coming towards you, Taurus. What else do we have? Divine Holy Spirit through the white light for the sign of Taurus in love. Who's coming towards Taurus? Who is the person that's coming towards? What else? What other information that we need for the sign of Taurus Spirit? In their person, for the final choice in their person. What else information that we need to look look forward to? Okay, we got strength reversed. We got the moon. So somebody wants to let go of some form of deception that they had with you. They want to let go of whatever. Basically, they want to squash the beef. So whatever you had going on with your person. They just want, whether you got kids with this person or not, that part didn't have to resonate for all y'all. But your person definitely do want to squash whatever it is that has transpired between y'all. They want to squash that beef. They want to definitely squash that beef. The fool. But I feel like some of y'all could be wanting to be free. Some of y'all could just be wanting to do y'all own thing. You know, maybe you don't, I'm hearing change, change of heart. Some of y'all don't feel the same way about this person anymore. Due to the deception that they may have had in your relationship before some of y'all could be afraid of this person leaving you again because this is somebody that may have left you before maybe you are afraid this person is going to leave you for somebody else like they did before Taurus because you feel like maybe in the past this person kept some things from you and you found out this person was dealing with somebody else or dealing with you and another person but I just feel like for the most part, you're just afraid of um, this person cheating on you again or leaving you for somebody else, you know, going out, doing whatever they want to do. We got the page of Pentacles reversed. So your person, I feel like this is somebody who never really apologized for what they have done to you, Taurus. And I feel like you could be looking for an apology also. But I just felt like if this person do come back to us and you want this person back, make sure they do apologize because the page of Pentacles is like is reversed, you know, and um, and make sure this offer is something legit. What else we got? P King of Pentacles. Yeah, because I wanted to say this at first, but I wanted to see what else is going to come out next. Your person is not going to hold accountability for what they did to you. Yeah, they may want to come back, you know, and squash the beef but I feel like when they come their way of coming back Taurus I just feel like 
they're going to try to brush it up under the rug. Whatever that has happened between y'all, I feel like they just want you to completely forget about it and just start all over. That's the energy that I'm getting with this person. They're not really, like, apologize for what they did. They're not holding accountability. Some of y'all, this person may have lost their job. You know, y'all could be dealing, this could be somebody who is just very irresponsible and they don't take accountability for anything that they do. They don't apologize for what they do. They don't, they don't do nothing. Like I said, some of y'all, this person don't even provide. They don't even have anything to give you because they may have lost their job. If, if this person never had a job, this person cannot give you what you deserve. This is somebody who's not even stable financially. I'm clearly seeing that. Some of y'all could be an Aquarius, Taurus. Or I'm seeing Aquarius. Pisces, Cancer, or it could be a Leo, or you could have Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, or Leo in your chart, or you could have Earth also, but yeah, experience saying that if you take this person back, it will just be a waste of time, a waste of energy, a waste of effort, a waste of money if you put money into the situation, but this person is not really invested into you. They're not looking forward to invest in you because all these pentacles are reversed. The page of pentacles reversed. The king of pentacles reversed. Seven of pentacles reversed. This person ain't got no money. This person ain't holding accountability for what they have done to you. They're not apologizing for what they have done to you. They, they can't even provide as a partner. I'm just going to keep it real with you. They're, they can't even provide as a partner. I feel like this is somebody who got another trick up their sleeve. We got the Eight of Wands reverse. This is somebody who going to cause more delays, more blockages in your life. If you had experienced any, you know, delays and blockages before with this person, basically experience seeing that they are up to no good. They, This is going to be a repetitive cycle. Some of y'all need to make some change. Maybe they could be telling you that they changed. Most of y'all have changed, Taurus. I am getting that energy. You know, maybe you just feel... Some of y'all feel like this person is confusing you in a way. Maybe on the way how they approach you when they come back. But I am seeing that there is some form of change that needs to happen. Four of Cups reversed. Yeah, you're not stuck on this person. Most of y'all have changed, Taurus. You're not stuck on this person. You may change. You're definitely not grieving over this person or nothing. This is somebody who just codependent. This is somebody who just want to use you. Some of y'all, this person, I'm going to be honest with you. This person just want to use you for your money. Look, all these pinnacles are reversed. Nine of pinnacles reversed. Seven of pinnacles reversed. King of pinnacles reversed. Page of pinnacles reversed. This person can't provide. They can't give you nothing. This, pro this person is leaning on you for money. I'm strongly getting that. Or whatever resources you got. They leaning on you. That's who they is. They leaning on you. And it's crazy. I'm getting this energy. Some of y'all, this person don't even pay child support. Maybe you got this person on child support. They don't even take care of their kids. Because that's probably why children was reversed. Yeah, they may look good or whatever. But they don't even want to take care of their kids. They don't. I'm hearing some of y'all, this person don't even want to take their kids with them. You know, spend time with their kids. That's crazy. But they want to come and ask you for some money. I'm getting that energy. Tell that bitch, what'd you say, um, on Friday, the, the um, crazed ex-girlfriend, she was like, now you ask that B for some money when he asked for some money, <laughs> and then she pulled off real fast in that car, that's the, that's what I just seen, yeah, this would be another unjust um, decision if you take this person back this whole situation would be unfair to you if you take this person back Taurus I just feel like this person is going to put you on another path where you're going to be receiving a lot of bad karma because of them and to be honest this person is going through bad karma that's why they need you for real let they ass suffer they made you suffer some of you all this person did make you suffer in the past this person did you know somebody make you suffer you make their ass up not saying that you necessarily got to physically do something you know god is always going to handle it regardless but i'm just saying like don't feel bad for this person because this person don't feel bad about you you see what i'm saying they don't feel bad about how they let you they don't feel because they're not apologizing they're not apologizing they're not giving you anything they don't want to take care of their kids some of y'all like i said they don't want to take they don't want to pay child support this person could be very toxic you see what I'm saying? And you could be the one that's really not toxic. Maybe you could be a little, just a tiny bit. We all got a little bit of toxicity within us. Nobody's perfect. But I just feel like your person is not a responsible parent. You see what I'm saying? They didn't get you kids but don't want to take care of their kids. And then they turn around and ask you for some money. Look, 
Five of Pentacles. This person, you leave this person out on the cold. Spirit is telling me to tell you that. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how they made, mo didn't I just say, that's how they made y'all feel. Some of y'all may have been homeless because of this person. Maybe you had to go live with a relative. Maybe you had to go live with a friend. Some of y'all had to go live in a shelter because of this person for a minute. You see what I'm saying? But this person, all they're going to do is take what they need. To, this is going to be another one-sided situation if you take this person back towards. And then they're going to leave you again empty-handed. And then you're going to be going through the same cycle again with this person if you take this person back. Look, Six of Swords. They're going to leave. They're going to jet right up on out of there. As soon as you, as soon as you let this person back in, they're going to jet right on, right on up out of there. Look, and there's going to be another tower moment. And this is going to happen so unexpectedly. Like, you ain't even going to see it coming. Some of y'all could be experiencing this energy right now because you let this person back in. You see what I'm saying? And um, and it was a false victory because we got the, uh, the Six of Wands reversed. It was a false victory. Look, after they leave or end the situation, they're going to leave you unhappy. Some of y'all going to end up arguing with this person. Some of y'all could be fighting this person. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what's going to happen once this person comes towards you. You know, but they, maybe this is a test. This is a test from spirit that, you know, I think we is still in a retrograde, but... I just feel like this is a test for y'all. The person that's coming towards you, you will be tested. You know, there's the same person. That's it. Look, three of pentacles reversed at the bottom of the deck. They're not coming to collaborate. They're not coming to work with you. They're not coming to work things out with you. You see how unbalanced these pentacles is? This situation is definitely one-sided. Some of y'all, this person could still be dealing with somebody else. Some of y'all may have lost y'all job because of this person. Like I said, this person may have lost their job because all these pentacles was reversed. They don't have no job. Some of y'all, like I said, this person could be homeless. I'm getting this energy strongly towards that this person is going through the same thing that they put you through. You see what I'm saying? This is that. This is this was meant to happen. That's why that destiny card right there. It's meant for them to come back around, you know, and feel the same hurt, pain, struggles that you went through. You know, basically spirit saying that you're going to have to let this person suffer. Now it's up to y'all whether y'all let this person back or not. You know, some of y'all could be currently going through this right now. The rest of y'all, this is this is what's coming towards you. Most of y'all, this is coming, this is what's coming towards you. So it's up to you whether you make the right decision or not and um be able to manipulate this energy. And you know what I'm saying? Because you can manipulate this energy. This don't have to happen. It's up to y'all. But I'm going to go ahead and end it right here, Taurus. If it resonates, don't forget to like, comment down below, and subscribe. And I appreciate you guys. Y'all be blessed.